Here's problem 514. If F is equal to 40 newtons and M is equal to 1.5 kilograms, what is the tension in the string connecting M and 2M? Assume that all surfaces are frictionless. All right, so we've got a 2M here and an M here. And we've got a force out front equal to 40 newtons. First thing we would like to do is blob all this together into one system. And let's just assume that it's all moving together with one forward acceleration up in the direction shown. If we're wrong with this assumption, we'll just end up with a negative acceleration and that just will mean that it was moving in the other direction. Alright, so we've got this force here. We've got another force on this end equal to m times g, which is the weight of this block there. But everything else is internal, so the tension of the cord is internal, so we don't have to worry about that. It's not an external force. So the total mass of this blob is going to be 3m. If we were to write Newton's second law for the motion of this blob, we would say the summation of the forces in the positive acceleration direction is equal to the total mass times acceleration, and that's equal to the net force in the direction of acceleration, which is going to be F minus mg. Now the total mass is 3m, so we're going to have 3m times a is equal to F minus mg, so a is going to equal F minus mg divided by 3m. Well, let's see. F is 40, m is 1.5, g is 9.8, and then we'll have 3 over 1.5. So let's figure out what this acceleration is. 40 minus 1.5 times 9.8 divided by 4.5 is 5.62 meters per second squared. All right, the fact that we came up with a positive value for that means we were right with our assumption that it was going in the direction that we, we showed it to go. We want to find the tension in the cord, and the problem with the blob method is that we can't get the tension, it's internal. So we need to focus separately on one of these masses. Either one will do. But let's take the hanging one because it's a little bit easier. If we did a free by diagram on mass M, it's got weight, mg, and the other force acting on it is just the tension, which is pulling up. As a result of these two forces, it manages to accelerate upward with a value of 5.62 meters per second squared. That is our free body diagram for mass 2. If I were to set up Newton's second law for this motion, I would have that the summation of the forces in the y direction is equal to mass 2 times a, which is m times a, and that would be equal to the positive force in the direction of positive acceleration, t minus mg. mg is going to be negative because it's in the opposite direction. So we are going to have 1.5 times a is equal to t minus 1.5 times g. In other words, t is going to equal 1.5 times a, 5.62, plus 1.5 times 9.8. And that will give us a value of 23.1 newtons. I guess I should write this out since we've been using N for a normal force.
So our answer is 23.1 newtons. That is the tension in the cord for this problem. Thank you.